hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel i'm i a colombo australian woman living in melbourne and today is a very special video because i'm gonna take you through this amazing state or house like a, a very old house that is part of the melbourne it's called Ripley estate and it's just a little piece of i don't know culture entrusted like hidden a little bit of culture and amazing house hidden almost in the middle of melbourne not really but close to the city maybe only 20 minutes by train and it's called Ripley house and we just did a tour of the old house and it's so massive and the actual grounds are like a garden there is a pool there is a lake and yeah so i'm gonna tell you more about it in the video today The history of the Ripponlea house goes back to 1868 when it was completed. The mansion had originally 15 rooms. Currently, it has 33. And it was built for Frederick Sargood and his big family. He had a wife and nine children. There were seven maids, a butler, seven gardeners, a coachman and a groom. In 1882, the house had a renovation in which some spaces were expanded and more rooms were added to the place. Sargood died while on a trip to New Zealand in 1903 and after this, the property was sold for £20,000 to a syndicate headed by Thomas Bent, an important politician of the time who apparently was kind of dodgy. The last time the property was sold was in 1910, when it was bought by Benjamin Nathan, who turned it into his family home while employing 17 gardeners. 17! Oh my God. After the death of his daughter, who had inherited the mansion and who really wanted to conserve the property it was transferred to a national trust and it was open to the public. Ripponlea Estate is located approximately 7 kilometers from CBD in the Bayside suburb of Erstenwick. It opens daily from 10 a.m. to 4 or 5 depending on the season. To enter the gardens you will need to pay a fee Approx is like 15 per adult and 9 per children, but there are some discounts if you live in the area and so on. To get here, you can come by train, tram, bus or car. So there is no excuse. Everything is available. The state offers guided tours of the mansion, which I highly recommend. Otherwise, you don't get to see the interior of the house, which is a big miss. But also there are garden tours where you will learn about the social history of the state. And there are 14 acres of grounds to explore with a beautiful lake in the middle and several pathways to walk along. Okay guys, so that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe if you are new around here. I'm my a Colombo Australian living in Melbourne. See you soon.